first job was, was playing for the ballet company. Um, hundreds of performances with Schoenberg, Piero, Lunaire and stuff like that. I'm writing a few ballets. Um, of course that was a great performing experience in the way we were in the pit. I mean, you still, you still, you know, you got used to not being nervous, not messing up, just being consistent, being professional. But eventually, uh, I thought this, this job being a ballet pianist is a dead end. So I got out of it for various reasons. Um, and there's, there was the session world, and the next thing I knew, I was in the session world, and I was doing two or three sessions a day. It was great, it was like a party. Two or three parties every day with a different bunch of things, <laughs> playing other people's music, mainly. Um, again, good experience, but of course, ultimately, you think, mm, this probably isn't the uh, answer to it either, you know, yeah, okay, and well, gosh, it's good, but I don't mean, know, that's even sure. So, I, I know, I should be in a band, and a mate of mine, Huey Bird, the guitarist, he'd hooked up with Jack Bruce, and uh, so we went home and played with Jack and the drummer, Simon Phillips, who's now the Toto one, he's in California, but, you yeah. know, and uh, so we thought, the next thing was the Jack Bruce Band. We made an album called House Tricks, which, which was a pretty interesting experience. And I think it was quite, I actually wrote a song for that, actually. And that was my first sort of song in that style of, of mm -hmm. music. I've always been writing classical music, not finishing very much, but starting stuff and you know, down the lift. Uh, anyway, this, there was a song on that House Tricks album. That a lot of people liked. Uh, and Pete Brown wrote some really nice lyrics actually. Something to live for it was good. Um, and that was the first taste of songwriting. Uh, but which didn't really come to very much. I teamed up with a couple of guys. Um, after that, Simon got me into to playing with Jeff Beck. And we wrote uh, instrumentals for Jeff. I ended up writing quite a lot of tunes for Jeff Beck. Um, I'm going on to a Jeff and that was terrific, but this of course was uh, my taste of rock and roll and being in a band, you know. Yes. Must have been heady stuff back in that day. It was. Yeah. It really was, yeah. yeah. Um, it was exciting. Mm. Uh, I mean, playing with Jeff over the years has been exciting. There was another band with, with Bill and Terry Bozio, with the three of us, and that was really very exciting, so much so that we had a reunion uh, back in 2002, um, which involved some rehearsing. And I remember we <laughs> played through stuff, and I had to go out. And, uh, wow, good lord, you know, that is just so exciting to play with those two guys, actually, I have to say. Um, on the back of the, the Jet Beck connection, Okay, back to the session thing, I, I met some, some guys who, uh, one guy said, look, you should, do it. you should do your own band, you should write your own songs. Uh, I've got a, a singer, perhaps you should hook up with, and that singer was Jim. So, in 1980, Jim came over to my house, started writing, and, and hit it off very quickly, actually. Mm. Uh, we had a lovely, because we, we, we knew we had to do an album, therefore we had to write some songs. Um, and we clipped pretty immediately. Um, you know, we wrote our hit, the one that's uh, been very good for us all these years, and it still gets played on, on the radio. Uh, I won't tell you how, but it didn't take very long to, to, to write it. It just happened. And, uh, it was, it was a beautiful May, you know, the sun was shining, blah, 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 and you come out of my house and we were in a good mood, let's just put it like that. <laughs> full of the joys tried. of spring, yeah. Mm -hmm. Full of the joys of spring. <laughs> uh, full of joys, full of joys of spring, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah next thing, 
we knew we'd written this song, I Won't Let You Down, we wrote a few others as well, and we, we, but I always thought that was the one that would do it. And in fact, actually, while we were writing, this is a bit embarrassing, but I'm going to say this anyway, because we'd sort of been thinking, you know, writing. And this, we, we used this uh, an old Revox, the old Revox bouncing from, you know, to do our demo, so once you record something, you can't go back, so that's it. Anyway, uh, um, we're busy writing songs, and then we sort of get a bit of, you know, like, oh, let's listen to that song again. And every time the hook came up, you know, we just go, yes. <laughs> so we, we knew we'd written it, which was great. Theory. I still remember the, the elation of 